Hello guys, it's your boy Nomly from uh, Sweden And before this video starts, we have the first CSGO sponsorship ever on this channel Skinport Now, if you don't know what Skinport is, they're a CSGO marketplace Meaning that you can safely buy and sell any skin you want for real money That means, for example, if you're gonna buy a Bayonet Tiger Tooth Factory New Instead of paying 400 euro on the Steam market You're only paying 280 euro on Skinport And that also means if you have skins yourself and you wanna sell them But you don't want useless Steam wallet balance Then you can actually sell them on Skinport and get real money With a quick bank transfer to your local currency And also if you have a skin that's over a thousand dollars It's only a 6% selling fee Use the link in the description if you want to buy or sell skins And now let's get on with the trick shotting ah, ah, Hello guys it's boy and I'm from uh, Sweden And I'm joined today by Rad Assalamu alaikum <laughs> And we are going to show you guys how to efficiently trick shot in CSGO We're talking edge bugs, we're talking boosted edge bugs, four man boosts We are talking silent shots and all types of crazy things so the map we're going to do a lot of the stuff is on Nuke Because that's like the number one trick shot map that you can do in CS We're gonna start off by showing them how to edge bug Now this is possible on almost all maps But there's only certain maps where it's really uh, doable or, or worth doing So we're gonna start by going on top of the silo Everyone knows how to do this You just jump up here and now you're on silo What many people don't know is that you can jump off of silo Silo onto this little uh, round thing and then land here and you won't take any falling damage <laughs> <laughs> My instructor is having problems There we go perfect and you see he even kept the bunny hop going the way you do this is you aim for the round thing so that you basically surf off of it and land here on this yellow edge because you can see this round thing, this ledge, if we go to draw the clip brushes, you can see that it's basically just a very steep edge, which you can surf off of. And if you land here, you take no falling damage. Hey, perfect! Now this is actually really easy to do. All you need to do is jump. Once you hit that ledge, you stop moving completely. You just run to the edge, stop moving. And you see no damage. Hey. It's hard to get a hold of at first, but once you learn how to do it, it's really easy. Hey. And you can hit it basically at like 9 out of 10 times. You can even implement some hua, hua, some cool moves. Oi! Oi. Okay. Ooh. Oi, oi, oi. Ah, well, that failed. Heavy to edit that shit out, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you can even do 360s on the way down, which is pretty cool Oi, for a yeah. trick shot. And now, if you have friends, you're a CSGO player, so you probably don't, but if by some miracle you do, you can do a run boost from here. So what we usually do, Rad, we go up here where we can't get shot, we put a smoke over there so that we can't get shot by the ops, then Rad lines up here, I jump on him, and on the first jump, we run boost without taking damage. Are you ready? There we go. There go. No damage. On a go. run boost. Really, really, really cool. Uh-huh. Just for demonstrating purposes. Yeah, you see? Hey, Absolutely no damage. And that's the quickest way to get out here. Fast, without damage, uh, and uh, the coolest way. Also, Rod, if you have yet another friend, we don't right now, but he should line up over there. Yeah, you, like can, al you can also do a run boost like this. This isn't really an edge. Oh, you can also do a run boost like this. It's not an edge bug, but it just helps you get out to CT spawn very quickly. And if you have another friend, you're doing a three-man queue, you could have him line up there, do the run boost on top of him, and then jump even further. Now it's just me and Rad, so we'll have to do it a bit shorter. But I land on him there. Jump at the last second, and you can B-hop easily into garage. Very cool. Now, there's also another edge bug on A site for CTs. This one is very hard to hit compared to the one on Yard. You have to hit it right there. And as you can see, it's on this edge we're trying to surf on. 
Oh. Oi! There we oh, go. Now, as you can see, this one is a lot less consistent and pretty hard to do. But it is possible, so if you learn it, you can uh, definitely do it more consistently. Oh. Oi! Oh, fuck it. God, hit it. I can't hit it now. I don't know why, dude. Dude, Afghanistan. <laughs> now, next up, I'm going to show you how to do a silent shot. This was something that I had in my Twitch highlights video recently, and many people were like, what the hell? How do you do that? Thank you. So, it's actually really easy, but I'm hosting this server, so I have one ping, and you need at least, like, 50 ping to be able to do it. So, just to show you guys, I'm going to add net underscore fake lag 50. Okay, now I have 77 ping. So, now I have 80 ping. This is a lot higher than you would normally have, but I know it works with, like, 20, 30, 40 ping. So, what you do is, this is the effect you get while doing a silent shot. You basically shoot someone without making any sound. Now, Rad, you heard that shot, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, everyone else on the server will hear it, but not the person who shoots, which is why this is very cool if, uh, like I'm doing, streaming and hit shots like this, very cool. So what you do is you need to have any other thing equipped, like your pistol, knife, a grenade, and then you just left click and hold it and swap back to the op while still holding it. Now, I'm still holding mouse one, just... Why? Mouse one, holding it, changing weapon to AWP, still holding it, and then... Very cool. Now you see, it's like it's shooting once, and then there is a little period of when you can shoot for it to become a silent shot. I'm gonna show in paint how it's done. That looks like a penis. Basically, here is when you hold left click. Here is when you let go of left click. And after you let go, there is a period of time where there will be a silent shot. So if you hold mouse click and you let it go over here, then there will be a period of time where this would count as a silent shot. And if you shoot after it anywhere here, it would make a normal sound. Now, this depends on the gun. I've noticed with the op, there is a very long period of time where the shot will be silent. So you can do stuff like this. Much after letting go of mouse one. I let go of mouse one now. And there it made sound, but if I do it a bit quicker. Let go of mouse one. Now, still silent. This means that with the AWP you can easily do things like... Aim down sight and aim to get a cool silent shot while still having enough time to do a shot. With guns like, I think, the Glock. You see, it doesn't have a lot of time at all. You need to basically... Double click as quick as you can, let's say. Yeah, you see, with a Glock, it doesn't work because that period of time is too short. The Deagle has a very short time as well, but it is possible to hit shots. Like that, but you need to basically double click as fast as you can. Holding mouse one, letting go and clicking insta. The best gun to do this with is definitely the AWP, which uh, is very cool. Rod, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna attempt a run boost edge bug silent shot, okay? So, what you need to run with AWP while we're doing the boost, okay? Huh. Huh. And there you go. Yeah. Very impressive. Yeah. Now, first of all, Rod, we're gonna show them a super easy trick. This is not cool for yourself, only the people that are spectating you or the other people that are playing that are alive. So basically, all you need for this is a Zeus and a AWP. And Rod here is gonna demonstrate how it's done. Oi! Hey! Tor! Oh, that's actually crazy. And this works in public games. Yeah, this is possible with any pistol. It's just cooler with the AWP. Especially the AWP lightning strike. So what you do is you just shoot and QQ to change to the Zeus and then back instantly like this. Yeah. yeah Did it work? It. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you see, Oy. I don't see it. But Rod sees it. Oy. Now, let's say we're playing MM and I'm dead and I'm spectating Rod. It looks like this in first person. Oi. Ooh. It's very cool, basically. I also forgot to mention, you can do some crazy things with this silent shot method. For example, if you have the knife out, hold left click and then swap to a flashbang and then let go. 
you will see that some weird things start to happen. It looks like my grandpa with Parkinson's and now I'm holding the op. But if I press mouse one again, you can see I'm actually holding the flashbang. So there's a lot of crazy things you can do with it. And the same things happen if you have a Molotov and let go. He's going crazy, but you're actually holding the Molotov. So you run very fast. And if you press mouse one, you throw the Molotov. Let's try the silent shot again. Ready? Hey. That is pretty cool. Now, there's a lot of combinations you can do. You can do like a 360 mid air. You could do edge bug just by yourself or doing a boost, uh, doing a silent shot or whatever. A lot of crazy things you can do, but Nuke is definitely the best map to do it. Rod, what do you think about CSGO trick shotting? You want to do like a little YouTube, you know, clip? It's always nice to implement these little, you know, these Easter nuts. <laughs> How many halal points would you say trick shotting in CS gets? 48 out of 48. But yeah, basically that was the video. Edge bugs and silent shots and having fun in CS. Because CS is not all about trying to get global, winning, having, you know, ultra try hard teammates. It's also about having fun. After we realized we couldn't get global. <laughs> yeah, we realized we couldn't get global. So we started edge bugging. <laughs> Now we're gonna be alone in this lobby and we're gonna kiss. No, stop. Mm. Stop. Yo. Mm. Yo. Mm. Yo. Mm, I'm sliding my hand under your shirt. Alright, mm. bro. You have a nice. User left your channel. <laughs>